What is happening, guys? Cowboy here, and we are back, ready to go. But before that, we did get that tome, so uh, checked out some new pyromancies, and then was playing around with some stuff. But anyway, uh, we now have Karthus Flame Arc, pretty badass. We also have Acid Surge, everyone's favorite trolley move. And then lastly, Karthus Beacon, which seems pretty awesome. Damage increases with consecutive attacks. Now, if you guys remember, I had that, uh, that ring that I got from the boss soul that had a uh, very similar mechanic to that, the Pontiff's Left Eye. Now, the Lucerne doesn't attack fast enough, but I'm going to call it right now. I'd be willing to bet that a dual-wield build like the Mercenary using the Left Eye and that new Pyromancy would probably be absolutely disgusting. So definitely something to keep in mind. Might work towards that on uh, my next playthrough. But I did want Flame Weapon, and unfortunately I can't use Flame Weapon on um, my Lucerne because it's already Flame Enchanted. So, in lieu of that, got the uh, Falchion, and then ended up making it Raw, because Raw, I can still put Flame on it. I think it's only things that split the elements, so like Fire, Dark, um, Lightning, and Magic, you won't be able to enchant anymore. But, with having that, and then making it Raw, and then making it plus three, um, I got a new really good weapon. I mean, as you can see, 194 to 292. When I enchant it with fire, we have 312 over 292. And on top of that, like, check this thing out. Like, this is just... Zoosh, zoosh, zoosh. Zoosh. It's gonna be badass. And this attack is just sweet. So, um... This is gonna be my new boss killer. I'll probably be playing the most of this episode with this, and on top of that, probably the best part, look at that, 67.8, still blow the cap. So originally I had actually recorded going and getting that, um, but ultimately, you know, I wanted to test things out and see if I could still uh, put Flame Weapon on something that was affected by Raw or the quality upgrades or anything of that nature. And with that in mind, obviously, we ended up... Um, leveling up something else. So I went through all the weapons that I already had met the stat requirements for, decided on the falchion. It was basically falchion or broadsword, and I mean the moveset of this was too awesome to pass up on, so. Or burrow, eat your heart out. Falchion's mine now. Anyway, let's see what this thing is. Okay, pull up. Oh god damn it! shot those guys. Anyway, let's put on Flame Weapon. It lasts quite a while from what I've seen so far. This dude wants to go. I have a feeling it's going to shred a boss. Oh, that, I thought that was a trap. Ooh. I'm not sure if that would have been able to hit the crystal lizards or not. Go away! Off the platform. Yellow bug pellet. Starting to look like a proper pvp or here. Got my parry shield. Got my flame falchion. Why do I feel like all these skeletons are going to rise up the second I pull this lever? Is it when I grab this? Light bug pellet. Alright, so let's go through here. See what um, this leads to first. Ah! 
Night Slayer Torsig. Yo, that's... Oh my god, no, 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 what the fuck? That's Tarkus. That's bullshit. I died to the rat. The fucking rat just trapped me. Yo, that is unacceptable. Tarkus, I'm gonna have to ruin your shit now. You realize this. You just took my ember from me. And how is the Foom Ultra? Best show back up. This is personal now. Where you at? I mean, he did give me a, uh, a gesture, but, nah, like... I just repeated all the steps and he's not showing up. Son of a bitch, man. Dude, Karthus flame arc lasts a while. Hopefully he shows up later, because that was bullshit. Getting pinched between him and the, uh, the, the, the fat rat, like, that was a bullshit death. Even if someone had invaded me, they would have been like, yeah, death was kind of bullshit. Oh, wait, you're dude, right? Oh no, it's you again. Have you seen Horus anywhere? Oh yes, I see. I've searched high and low with no luck. Perhaps he's left the catacombs. Oh, Horus, where have you run off to? Oh, have you... Oh, have you abandoned me? No, Horus wouldn't abandon you. Bridge is super rickety. What the fuck? Um, oh God, no, is this a dead end? Why are there so many skeletons? Oh, fuck, what the hell? What is happening? Thankfully, they're kind of dumb. I mean, I know it's Dark Souls, but like, damn. It's gotta be like 30 skeletons. I guess we're not going back that way anymore. <laughs> mm, boss fight? Maybe? There seems to be this, this uh, occurrence where doors lead directly into boss fights. Oh yeah, this has boss fight written all over it. Chests all over. There's an altar in the middle, and this is an enclosed room. You smell that? Yeah, it smells like a boss fight. Oh yeah, definitely smells like a boss fight.
a pretty badass looking goblet. Oh god, no. Why, where, what the fuck, what is happening to my health? It just all disappeared. All of my health just gone in like a split second. What was that shit? What the fuck? He like wasn't even hitting me. It was like... It was like I died just by being near him. That was weird. The only thing I can think is that... I don't know, maybe there's... Damn, you really cannot make that. Um, maybe it's, it's something like you have to fight his hand. And if you go past his hand, he gets all angry and shit happens. I don't know. Like, I've, I have no idea how, how else to describe what just happened there. But he just shit all over me. Bye, Felicia. Apparently you're optional to some extent, because I can decide whether I want to go back in or not. Screw it. Let's go in. Let's figure this thing out. It's got to be that mist that's coming out from under his chest. That has to be, like, poisonous or something. This is literally the Battle of a Thousand Butt Pokes, though. Oh, you summon skeletons as well. That's the same mist from his chest that killed me before. There we go, the rings! The rings! Oh, I know how you work now, big boy. Come a little closer, baby. Shit. Flame arc. I had a feeling those arcs were something. Oh shit. Where are you crawling to? You're not gonna get out of here. You're dead. Oh god. What are you doing? Give me that arm. 
Ow. Got my back against the wall. Hi, Lord the Wool near. Nope, bring your bring it back here. Bring it back here, asshole. Oh shit, no. That, that stuff's gonna kill me. Not today, shit lord. You're not spewing your toxic garbage all over me. Soul of High Lord the Wolnir. Oop, do I just teleport out of the darkness? This is my cup. Wolnir, you're still leaking all over, buddy. Oh no, so that boss fight was not optional. Apparently you needed to do that to open the door to wherever the hell we're going. You know, I gotta say though, I don't know if it's just because of how much experience I have with the Souls franchise now. But I feel like I'm knocking out bosses, like, left and right, you know? And, like, I don't want to be like, oh, yeah, this shit is easy. Because, like, there's definitely been some some trying, difficult parts. But I feel like I'm breezing through a lot of stuff. And I really think it just comes down to experience. Like, knowing, you know, like, the, the Deacon's fight took me one attempt before I was like, oh, I got to... You know, hit the thing where the red ball goes, and then knock out this guy and stop them from summoning. You know, when we got in the the fight against the Crystal Sage after one attempt. Oh, okay, I can dodge all your magic behind this stuff and kill the clones this way and do this. After the the fight against Farron's Watchers, that one took a couple a couple tries to learn it, but like, I think in total I maybe had like two or three actual attempts. Now invade, and if you grow weary of your duty, come on. Give yourself to <laughs> Yeah, oh, I already gave myself to Rosaria. Aha, uh -huh. so. Yes, indeed. Let's see what this guy had. Holnir's Holy Sword. Oh, snap. A holy sword eroded by the abyss. When Wolnir fell to the abyss, he was gripped by a fear of true darkness and pleaded to the gods for the first time. This holy sword, together with three armlets stripped from the corpses of clerics, gave him some sense of comfort. Wrath of gods, thrust weapon into earth. To a powerful shockwave. The wrath of those swallowed by the abyss is a thing to be wary of indeed. Oh man. I think I just found my drunk your weapon. Um, what else can I get from you? Um Black Serpent. Ooh, man. Release undulating black flame that runs through the ground. I mean, I I really like the sound of that. The stat requirements aren't high. Um, the weight, 7.5, that's relatively low. 13, 13, 13 is a nice split. I bet it's a, it's a faith weapon. That's, I mean, that's that's what Biggis will be using for the drunk through. Um, either way, Black Serpent, we're going to pick up this because, after all, I am a pyromancer. Welcome, sir. Mm, you know what I want, girl. Give me that 15 faith. Damn, that's all I have enough for. Do I have anything I can eat for some souls? Can I eat anything? Any num nums? Oh, yes. Perfect amount of nums. Still getting two points per. I feel like I'm leveling up really efficiently as well, though. That's probably another big reason why I'm... I mean, I'm, you know... The great thing about how I've uh, decided to level up is... You know, I got just enough stats that I could use the weapons I wanted to use. And then I've been focused on um, my pyromancies and just upgrading those weapons. And that's it. Oh, oh yes! <laughs> that's gonna be badass. Um, what was the cost of that? FP cost 19. 
And that was 15, and the boulder was 17, so this should be stronger than both. All right, either way. Um, yeah, High Lord Wolnir's down. Not sure where we're going next, but God, I am loving every second of it. The only thing that sucks is that I know that's the drunk through weapon, and I don't know if it's going to take us three weeks to reach that point in the drunk through. But either way, we are done this one for now. So thanks for coming on by, and we will catch you guys with the next episode.